Everybody's heard about China's megacities with their skyscrapers and assembly lines. But what's it like to run a business in China's remote countryside? Something simple, like dried tofu skins. You'll need a pile of kindling to keep a fire going for 10 hours a day. Neighbors who don't mind a little smoke. A steady supply of soybean paste. And lots and lots of sweat. You probably don't have much capital, so you'll have to get creative with whatever local materials you can find. Here's how it works. The fire heats the water that you pour over the soybean paste. You then stir and spin for 20 minutes, rather like a washing machine. What comes out is soy milk. It's filtered, then sucked through that plastic tube into a giant cauldron. Meanwhile, you build a second fire to heat the soy milk to just below its boiling point. Then pipe it into the next room. A skin then forms atop the simmering liquid. You pluck it out and hang it up to dry. It's harder than it looks. The liquid is almost boiling. And you're going to put your fingers into it several thousand times before noon. Both the timing and the temperature have to be just right, so you really have to concentrate. It's August and 90 degrees outside. You can only imagine how hot it must be in here. A new skin forms almost immediately, so you can't stop for more than a minute or two. Why do it? They have a 13-year-old son. Those soy sheets are paying for his education. They want to make sure he doesn't have to do this when he grows up. Once they've stopped dripping, they hang them out to dry. They last for months and are popular sautéed or stewed. The leftover soy paste goes to feed their pigs. In rural China, absolutely nothing goes to waste.